This got left in the fridge for, well it feels, feels like a month, but really it was two, maybe maybe three months. It was quite a while ago. So um, at the time I was doing loads of bread baking, um, I was using it every day, and uh, well, I kind of said to myself, right, I left out my sourdough, I said oh, I'll feed it in the morning, um, which is normally fine, but then it got left to the evening and then I put it in the fridge quickly and said, right, I'll, I'll feed it in the morning, it's too late now. Um, and they never did. So it was already hungry and now it's been left and it's been left for ages now. Um, it is not looking good. It does smell like cheese, but the trick is it still looks good underneath. So if we can skim back the top bit, the moldy bit, and get some good stuff underneath, we're gonna go and uh, be successful. Now, I've got a few tools here because I can't remember exactly what I need. I've done it a few times, but obviously I try not to do this. Uh, so I've got a knife, I've got a, a little spoon, I've got a big spoon, I've got a dough scraper, I've got a separate bowl, so we can start making up another sourdough from that starter in there. I've got more water, I've got a bit of flour, we're all ready to go. It's only worth using white flour, don't bother with any posh rye or anything expensive, just use good quality, it's got to be good quality, good quality um, white bread flour to get you started. Unless you are making a rye sourdough and it has to be rye, but look, the chances of pulling back a rye sourdough once that goes rancid is a lot, lot lower. And once they start turning and they get that smell on them, it is very hard to get rid of. It will probably be easier just to start again. And peel back the top. Oh, it's so hard. Okay. So in there, we've now got some half decent stuff. So we don't need much. I'm gonna put a drop of water in here just so it doesn't stick to the bottom. And then I'm just gonna get scooping. Uh, I mean, really, that might be enough. It doesn't smell so rancid. So yeah, that's fine. Um, that can go. I can bake that off or throw it in the bin or whatever I wanna do. Give it a little mix with this first because it's very, very thick. Okay, add some flour. Let's check what. Two tablespoons, two and a half. I'm not weighing anything here just because it's so far gone. We're miles off actually making um, a recipe. So okay. I'm just going to go by Water. feel and make the, a right, the right consistency um, roughly for what I want for my sourdough. So here we have it, we've got our sourdough, it has been revived, we're going to check this tomorrow, give it another refreshment, and I bet you we're going to be alright. So if you've liked today's video then please give us a like and uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you want to find out more about me and some more of my services then check out busbysbakery.com and you'll find a plethora of excellent baking tips.